guys. Welcome back to the channel. My name is Jason Carr and you're watching Old Car Auto Guy. So before we get too far into this reviews day review, it was going to be on the 2015 Ford Escape. But unfortunately for us, Bill sold it today. Fortunately for us, Bill sold it today. So instead, we are going to do our Tuesday review on the 2017 Ford Escape. So stay tuned. But before we get into this review, I'm heading off to the salon to get my hair done. No, not really. I'm going to the barber shop to get a haircut. So this is the before, and here is the after. Pretty handsome, eh? So while I was on my way to get my hair cut, I realized that driving this little Honda Civic 2003 truly is a little gem. There's not a squeak or a rattle in it. The AC blows cold. And I mean, for a little 1.7, they didn't have much more than 100 horsepower, I don't think. But uh, it works pretty good. I'm very surprised. And uh, it could be yours for $1,800 if it lasts that long. So I'm on my way back to the shop right now and the whole time I was sitting in the barber chair my phone was going off so I get into the car and I check it. There's three new messages from people uh, wanting to uh, or who are interested in this Honda Civic. So I do have it on a Facebook buy and sell in our local area and uh, it seems to be doing the trick because like I said my phone is almost non-stop with interested parties. So let's hope we can get this thing sold by the end of the day. So this has got to be one of the coolest things I've seen in St. Stephen in a long time. Competition or not, that's pretty cool. Well guys, we are out in the field once again for this reviews day, and today we are talking the 2017. Too much noise. Today we are reviewing the 2017 Ford Escape SE. this 2017 Ford Escape SE is a front-wheel drive model with a 1.5 liter EcoBoost four-cylinder and I must say it's a huge improvement over the old Ford Escapes which were a choppy ride uh, didn't get great fuel economy but nevertheless they were for the most part a bulletproof vehicle with this next generation Ford Escape they did do a couple of things different one of the things, they've eliminated the V6. So every vehicle that you get is gonna have a four cylinder configuration, whether it be a 1.5 or a two liter turbo. And depending on whether you go with all wheel drive or front wheel drive, sometimes will depend on that motor. This particular one being the 1.5. One thing that I do like, correction, one thing I do love about this particular model is the color. It's a love it or hate it color, but I for one, happen to love it. It's pretty unique. I do like the way that it changes color when the sun hits it and you can see it as I move around it goes from light to dark. 
So a few of the options that this particular vehicle has as it sits here on my lot or in this field, it does have the aftermarket vent shades over the windows and the hood protector across the front of the grill. It is wrapped with four Michelin tires and they're like new. The brakes are all in good shape. In fact, I think we put new rear rotors on the back here and it does have the backup camera. It also comes with two keys with the remote built in as well as the illuminated keyless entry on the side panel of the door. As we move to the interior of the vehicle, I'm going to roll the windows up and turn the AC on because it is hot and buggy. I guess that's what you get for playing in a field of grass. Now that we are on the interior of the vehicle, one of the things that I will say uh, about this vehicle once again is how comfortable this vehicle is to sit in. As I've said in previous videos, I'm six foot two, so sometimes getting in and getting comfortable in a smaller vehicle um, has its challenges. This particular vehicle, I don't have any issues with it. The seats are comfy. I can adjust it in many ways. This just has the manual seat, not the power, and I can adjust the height adjustment as well as recline and get comfortable. As you can also see, plenty of headroom for the front seat passenger as well as a back seat passenger. Now, while I'm back here, I will point out once again, just like the Fiat, I can sit here in the back and my knees do not touch the back of the seat. Well, my jeans do, but my knees actually don't. The seats are kind of contoured in the back here to make room for that. And you'll also find that you've got rear AC vents as well as an inverted plug-in. So now we'll move on to some of the interior features of, uh, of this Ford Escape. And we'll start off with the climate control. This particular Ford Escape has the dual zone automatic climate control. So it's all digital. You just basically sit it and forget it. And uh, if you want to uh, control your heated seats, of course, you've got buttons here and here. Very well laid out. And you've even got regular controls for the heat on the driver and passenger for both sides. Moving on to the radio, all the features that you see here on the radio are also available on the steering wheel controls. You also have the menu on this side, the menu controls for the little instrument cluster in the middle, which gives you your trip, your fuel economy, and uh, other sorts of things like that. Distance to empty is one feature that I really enjoy having on a vehicle. You can run that vehicle as low as you want and you know exactly how close to empty you are. Even when it says zero kilometers to empty, you also got cruise control here, and on this particular model, you get the sport mode with the paddle shifters. This particular vehicle also has start-stop technology, so when you're driving in traffic and you pull up to a stop sign or in traffic, when your vehicle comes to a complete stop, as long as your foot's on the brake, the engine will shut off. On this particular vehicle, you don't notice it. It's very, very simple. A lot of vehicles out there today, you notice when the vehicle shuts down. This one, the AC stays running, it will stay shut off for a certain period of time, and when it feels the need to kick back on, it will, or as soon as you let off the brake, it's right there. Almost seamless. You do have the electronic park brake, so as long as your foot's on the brake, you can pull up on the lever like so. You will get an indicator light on the dash letting you know that the parking brake is engaged. In order to disengage, you just press down on the button with your foot on the brake, and just as simple as that, it shuts off. So a couple of the things that I really like about this, I've already mentioned, is the comfort. The second is the fuel economy. My wife and I went on vacation in one of these Ford Escapes last year, and we did some day tripping. And compared to the old, previous generation of the Ford Escape, I find these ones to be much more fuel efficient, uh, especially in the front wheel drive model, uh, you're going to gain probably about uh, 10 to 15 percent in the fuel economy over the all wheel drive. All wheel drives are good uh, on fuel as well, but you'll find that in a front wheel drive you can go just about anywhere you need to, even in the winter time, with four winter tires. If you're interested in winter tires on this thing, just say so. We can make it part of the deal. This Ford Escape, and like all Ford Escapes, also has the tilt as well as telescoping steering wheel. 
So for those of us who are tall, we can push it back further. If you're a little bit shorter in stature, you can pull that steering wheel a little bit closer to you. We've got a little bit of gas in this thing and I'm not inclined to step back out there in the bugs to get eaten alive, so let's go for a drive. But first things first, let's get the old spine buster on. So one of the first things you'll notice, probably with this new microphone setup on my camera, is just how quiet the interior is as far as road noise goes. Now granted, we are running a premium tire on this vehicle, which is the Michelin's, and they, that's what came on it when we bought it. I also find that in this vehicle, we don't get road noise. You don't get a lot of wind from up around the doors of the windshield, and the engine, can you, you can hardly hear it. And as I mentioned before, with the stop-start technology, when you pull up to a stop sign and that engine shuts down, you barely notice it. The only way you can really tell is by looking down at your tachometer and you'll notice that the engine's not turning. One thing I do find on the Ford Escapes is the steering is very tight and very responsive. And one thing that you may have to get used to is how responsive it really is. I find sometimes if you take your eye off the road just for a second and you need to correct, sometimes that correction is absolutely right there. And, you know, kind of feel a little bit perky jerky maybe. Perky jerky, I like that word. What makes this segment so popular in the car industry is the fact that you can get into one of these Ford Escapes and or something very similar and gain all the room and all the comforts and all the amenities of what would be minivan in a something a little bit more compact that still has storage and still seats five very comfortably. Now the Ford Escapes, you cannot get them in a seven passenger configuration. You would have to go up to the Explorer for that. However, this is a perfect alternative to the mommy wagon. Although the 1.5 liter EcoBoost is turbocharged, I don't find it as responsive as the two liter EcoBoost. The two liter just seems to have a little bit more grunt to it. Overall, the Ford Escape, in my opinion, has a very high rating not just in looks, but also in features, comfort, and maneuverability. They're great for a young couple just starting a family, and you know, you've got room to grow. So if you or someone you know is in the market for a late model SUV in this gorgeous burnt orange color, let me know. My information is in the description box below. Don't be afraid to send me an email, reach out anytime. I'd love to show this one to you. And once again, it's a 2017 Ford Escape SE front wheel drive with the 1.5 liter EcoBoost engine with 71,000 kilometers. We have financing for all situations, so don't be afraid to reach out. Once again, guys, I hope you enjoyed this review on the 2017 Ford Escape. We are getting ever so closer to 300 subscribers. Last I checked today, we were at 282. Come on, if you haven't done it, please hit that subscribe button down below. I know you want to, please. Once we get to 300 subscribers, I'm gonna set a goal after that of 500 subscribers. And once we get to 500, we're gonna do something really special for all of you guys. You gotta be a subscriber though to qualify. We're gonna have a giveaway. I'll reveal that soon in an upcoming video, and it's going to have roughly a couple hundred dollar value, so pay attention and stay tuned. Once again, hit the subscribe button. It doesn't cost you a cent. Got to be a subscriber to win. Guys, thanks for watching this video. Please like it. Please comment in the comment section below. I love you guys. Bless you. Have a good day.